Good morning. We're back in Broken Ranks, and we are on Miss Bella today. Now, I have worked and worked and worked on her, and I am not getting very far in leveling her. Although, well, I have added an extra 15% to her level, so I'm starting to get somewhere. Now, while I was out and about, I talked to Holbro who asked me to get ingredients for, what was it called? An herbal concoction that she says can be sold at the hospital for some gold. So I'm like, okay. So I looked up the ingredients to make it and you need valerian and marshmallow and another plant. And it took me a little bit, but I did find the location of all three of those. I also found out what the herbal concoction is used for. Because if you talk to Tisman, and you ask him about inhibitors, he tells you that he can make you a turquoise inhibitor for 20 cut limith, 20 herbal concoctions, and 15 spider silk, and 15,000 gold. Which to me, that's a lot. Let's go find. That's wood. Okay, somewhere around here. Luckily, these guys do not aggro anymore. Ah, so here's valerian. Which is one of the th three ingredients you need to make this herbal concoction. And you need ten of each. Now, I'm still not absolutely certain what these inhibitors do. There's not a lot of information on the wiki. It does seem that items... Okay, it says, as, as far as items, you can upgrade items using various flasks. The type of flask determines the upgrade that may be applied. An inhibitor of the same or higher rank as the item is generally necessary. So I don't know what grade or rank a turquoise inhibitor is. But I'm assuming that that is involved in the process of upgrading an item. But it also says if you, you can create essences by melting items you need a specific piece of equipment from the blacksmith you need the item you wish to melt a lot oh an extractor and an optional inhibitor of the same or higher rank to increase the essence obtained by 30 percent and melting is of course irreversible so it looks like you use it for both melting down equipment that you want to get essences out of, as well as upgrading equipment using different flasks. And I've seen those flasks before. I don't have any on me, I don't think. But I've seen those flasks before. They say you know, a strength flask, and it adds strength to a piece of equipment. So, gathering these items is a bit of a slow process. It's like snooze, snore. <laughs> and to be perfectly honest. <laughs> See, those guys would still aggro on me. I don't know why. That thing's a level 5. Why would that thing aggro at level 5? So anyway. We're going to take a look at the location of all of these components you need for the herbal concoction. And I, I said, we are... Right outside the fisherman village, gathering the valerian. We only need one more. 
So that should do it for that. Okay, so I have 10 Valerian. I love how most of these mobs just like, tell totally ignore me now. It's like, oh yeah, it's you. Yeah, go, go. Pass. <laughs> And actually, let's stop at the hospital so we can sell the one I have and this is of course the lady you buy your elixir your potions from it says I want to sell herbal concoction one herbal concoction is two hundred three hundred and twenty gold so she has given me three hundred and twenty gold and of course those are the potions that require the ingredients are you selling brews okay so you can buy 20 regular health potions, which is 50 hit points apiece for a thousand gold. Or if you want it to get the better ones, you can get 10 health elixirs, which is 200 hit points apiece for one platinum or four health concoctions, which is 500 hit points apiece for one platinum. Now, right now I have a decent amount of potions on me so I don't need to buy any but there is that and I was wondering if I were to get like a subscription is it just for the one character is it for server or is it for the whole account so if i had a subscription would it count for the us and the polish server or would i have to buy a subscription for each of them i don't know okay so here it is mentholysis mentholys menthol but we need 10 of those. And of course, that's the hamlet outside of Trentus. So another relatively easy place to get to for low level. Sometimes I kind of wish things were a little clearer. Okay, so I'm reading up on the premium accounts while I'm waiting for this to finish. It says, what's a premium account in Broken Ranks? A premium account has some expanded features and quality of life improvements. Let's start with assuring you that all content of Broken Ranks is available to all accounts, so there'll be no situation where you try to enter a boss instance and can't because you don't have a premium account. You also don't need it to loot gear from bosses and champions. There's only one variant of premium account but you can choose the duration you want to buy it for. They offer one month and three month subscriptions. The longer option is more cost effective, which that's normal. You can activate your premium account with our special currency, which as we mentioned before, can be traded between players. You can get it in exchange for items, gear, gold, or even as a gift. It's worth noting that a single premium account <clears throat> Works for all characters on a given server. You don't need to activate it for every new character you create. Premium accounts work on all servers using the same language. So I would have to have a premium account for the English server. And for the Polish server, that's what I'm if I'm that's what I'm reading. Excuse me. Okay premium account bonuses 
you get four tactics instead of just two. Okay, I need one more of those. You get faster resting, 40% faster. Um, so, resting is available for both premium and free account. It's just premium have faster resting. Uh, premium also gives you 300 to your carry weight. And you don't need to buy additional slots in your backpack, but every item has a weight and you can't carry more than 800 weight units. So instead of 800, you would get be able to carry 1100, if I'm reading that right. Let's go to the other spot. So we still need to get the marshmallow. We need to go through the bandit forest. Of course, the package also includes a 20% bonus from experience and gold from mobs and bosses as well as gold from platinum chests. This value was chosen in a way that the bonus is beneficial but at the same time doesn't provide an insurmountable advantage. So, it's a nice bonus, but it, it's not going to make you OP in the game. A premium account, you can ignore more players. Okay, so we go past all these mobs here. Oh, over here. And here's our marshmallow. I already have one. So I just need to get nine more. And while we're here, actually before I finish that, let me go see what's over here. Light? Oh. There we go. I received a uh, halite. Let's go see what that is. All right, now, Halite doesn't say what it is, but it's worth 620 gold, so I guess it was worth going for. All right, so, you can ignore more players, which is useful if you're getting spammed a lot. Ignoring a player means they won't be able to message you, and you won't see their messages on chat. You can normally ignore up to 10 people, but a premium account can ignore up to 100. So it basically increases your block list by a lot. What else? Character death is an element present in every MMORPG. After all, you can't always win. In Birkin Ranks, you need to choose a random penalty card upon death. So what you lose is not always the same. You may lose some experience, but can't lose a level this way. And gold. If you have a premium account, death treats you kinder, 30% kinder to be exact, meaning that the cards will be less harsh. Here we've also tried to choose a value that wouldn't unbalance the gameplay too much. With premium, you also get access to a daily lottery. You can't get legendary gear, example rares, this way. These can only be looted from bosses. However, you can get some useful items elixirs, inhibitors, other currencies, including platinum, platinum keys used to open chests hidden in various areas. So, so depending on where you are, is how much you're going to pay for your premium account. First off, you have to buy platinum. And it's $1.99 US for every 50 platinum. You can get 100 platinum for 350, 250 platinum for 
750, 500 platinum for 1350, and then you jump up into the big numbers. A 2000 platinum is $51, and 5000 platinum, if you happen to have that kind of scratch, is 120 bucks. That's pretty pricey. That ain't cheap. However, let's look at how much premium account costs. And we're actually going to look at it by region. So, okay, so we have 10 of each. We can head back to Holborn. Russia and Brazil pay 200 platinum for a 30 day account, 500 platinum for 90 days. Poland pays 300 and 750 respectively. Germany, France, England, and the United States pay 350 and 875 respectively. So they've broken down the pricing by region and of course if you're in Russia or Brazil you're paying the cheapest price and if you're in Germany, France, England or the US you're paying the most. But okay we're gonna look at the US version and I'm assuming that even if I'm playing on a Polish server, I would probably end up still paying U.S. price for premium for the Polish server. I don't know. Oh, Burl, come back over here. I'm going to talk to you about herbs. And here we go. She has made us another herbal concoction. And anytime you want to make another one of those, obviously... The ingredients were pretty easy to get. How much gold do I have on me right now anyway? 11,000. And of course I'll get another, what, 600? Or not that much. 320 gold for that. Or if I wanted to, I could save everything up, gather the ingredients, and make this turquoise inhibitor. Though, like I said, I'm still not... 100% sure what they're for. And you know, while I'm here, I'm also... I've helped Jacobo quite a number of times, so we're going to actually go over to this fine gentleman here and help him out. And just because. Why not, right? Not worth a lot of XP, but it's easy. It's fun. And we get to kill skeletons. Alright. So, if I wanted to get a one month subscription or one month premium account, 350 platinum, which means I would have to buy, I would buy the 500 pack. So I'd have to spend 1350 on it. Which would be about right for a monthly subscription. Actually, if you think about it, you I'd get the monthly subscription. I'd still have a little platinum left over. Now, like I said, I'm assuming that even if I'm playing on the Polish server, I would still be paying the U.S. price for premium on the Polish server. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. And from what I could tell... I would have to buy a premium subscription for each server instead of just being account-wide. Again, 
That's what I'm reading. I could be wrong on that. Of course, all this is speculative. It's... Premium account is not happening just yet. Certainly not happening right around the holidays. And speaking of holidays, I will be out of town for about a week. Well, Thanksgiving week to be exact. But don't worry, there will be content still. You will see videos go up during the week. However, I will be, well, out of town. take much. And see, it's barely moving the bar, but it's better than nothing. So it seems like the next thing they plan on adding to the shop is basically cosmetic customization type things, um, dyes, themed skins, which I think they already kind of have, and um, pet skins, so you can customize your pets. Like I, I think I've mentioned this before, but out of all the games I've played, the cash shop in this one is absolutely the least egregious I've seen, which is a pleasant surprise. There's not anything I would consider really pay to win at all. Which I'm assuming because it is a PvP centric game, you want to keep that balance. You don't want people to have that unfair advantage that spending money would give them. funny. The mobs that fall backwards dramatically to die, or the uh, skeletons that just fall apart. They're both kind of funny. I'd kill some spiders and, and sell the skins to Jackable. And considering I'll have like 15 minutes before I can take the next task anyway. I have completed your task. And I got 2,000 gold and 1,200 experience. 
What? Now I've gone from 35 to 37 percent. I will sit here. Don't mind me, Jack Ball. I am going to sit here for a minute. I wonder if they've added any new skins to the shop. Change your character sex. This item, for 24 hours, you can take back any pet you own from any NPC with a pet shop. It actually only costs one platinum to get the service. I like it that it's not a monthly thing. You So if you play like me, it's kind of a couple times a week. Uh, you might only spend eight platinum a month doing that. So, reasonable. Immediately reset parameter points. I love how it says after you're resetting, you'll be logged out. That is that ain't cheap. That's 50 platinum right there. Um. Name change. That ain't cheap. You better be sure you want to change your name because it costs 100 platinum to do it. And the payment is taken once you accept your new name choice. It says, once the name is changed, the old name cannot be used by other players for 24 hours. However, you can use it after 15 minutes. Premium Marketplace. That lasts for 30 days. Putting an item on sale is 0.5% instead of 1%. Selling an item is 1.5% instead of 3%. You can have 100 offers instead of 10. And you have 30 days instead of 7 to sell your item. Alright. But we wanted to look at some gear skins. So we have Devil Fist. Bone caster. It's not meant for your class. I just want to look at it. Thank you. Okay, it looks like we've used some goat's head as part of our bow. Herald of Dawn. That's that's a very anime style great sword. Horned Doom. That looks like something a necromancer would use. And we have some uh, different blade skins. Okay. That probably looks okay on a male character, but not the female. Ew. I mean, again... Probably looks better on, well, aside from that ugly hood, I could see a druid wearing that or a necromancer. Again, druid or necromancer. I just don't like the face mask, and of course I've never, never been a fan of cloaks. Some of these actually, well, they kind of remind me of dresses a little. Although I think it's meant to look more like a, a monk. A warrior monk. And she'd actually look good in that. And see, that's one of the few times I think a, a heavy set actually looks good on a female. And it comes in different colors. Kind of digging this in blue. If it was blue and silver, 
Absolutely, but blue and gold, eh. See, this, but in blue. Well, that would be a knight's attire. Now, that's probably more along the lines of a warrior or a barbarian. That is definitely looking like a barbarian. Ew. I love how when you look at the, uh, what is it called? <laughs> the preview? She's bald. I'm like, oh, hopefully that wouldn't be the case. She doesn't look that bad on her. Although it looks more like something a thief would wear. Now this brawler is definitely a barbarian look. And I still think I like that the best. Okay, done looking. We were supposed to be killing spiders and selling the skins off. Not looking at the shop. I have to admit though, I kind of like what he's wearing currently. Especially without the cloak on. It kind of looks nice on her. Just kind of wish uh, it didn't so effectively hide her hair. And if. So these are level 10 bugs. Which might explain why they're so easy to kill now. Yeah, it was kind of funny. I, I finally started paying attention to the level of the mobs I was dealing with. And the mobs at the shore are like in the level 30 range. And I was starting to deal with those, what, around level... 24, 25. No wonder they were quite the challenge. It's because they were several levels higher than me. Twenty skins to sell to him, and I don't think he gives me that much for it. But yeah, gold is gold. Too bad XP is uh, kind of wimpy. Let's do a, a triple. Oh, this is two twelves and a thirteen. Well, that's a little better. <laughs> I'm not playing around with this anymore. However, this is what I've been doing on Miss Bella. And in, in the instances that I can play on her. It's just very slowly working towards level 30. That extra XP boost for premium would certainly help. That took care of that. We only need eight more.
Now I did notice that out near the fisherman village, not only can you get valerian, but you can get wood. Uh, in the swamp, you can form some sort of magical element. It's over by where that one spider is. The for forlorn settlement has the marshmallow. You, the hamlet, not only do you get the menthol, you get potatoes and spices. So I'm starting to figure out where to go for different things. If I wanted to gather ingredients for crafting. Oh, and right outside Trentus, where that hut is, with all the dogs, you can get linen. There's probably other things that I've missed. Like, well, killing the tanglers for the tangler venom. Going down into the spider cave for spider eggs. Or killing the spiders for skins. I was gonna say, can we not hit this thing? Obviously we can. Ancient energy. That's what you can form right here. So we'll grab one of those. This one seems to form a little bit faster than some of the other stuff. Not a ton. I wonder if premium allows you to form things faster. That would be nice to know. So this is an ingredient used to make a flask of minor knowledge. And it's worth 15 gold, I think. If you sold it at the right place, it would be worth 15 gold. But yeah, okay, that's enough. I just wanted to see what it was. 12, 12, 13. I will take y'all. Come on. I wish crafting was a little more clear cut. Especially considering I happen to enjoy crafting in a game. But it's not as much crafting as it is upgrading things you get, it seems. Again, I could be wrong on that. So, if I am wrong, please feel free to leave a comment and correct me. And it actually, if anybody knows of a good guide for the game, because the wiki, the wiki ain't it. It's very sparse. Actually, some of these questions Solaire might be able to answer for me. Hopefully. should have 20 now. 
did I get any? No, not really. All right. So we've learned how to get the ingredients for an herbal concoction, which is used with some other ingredients to make a turquoise inhibitor. We kind of have an idea what inhibitors are used for, although I don't know turquoise, topaz, and I think there's another color inhibitor, and if each of those has a specific purpose. And here's your spider skin. Thank you very much. He gives me 700 gold, so I'm not going to sneeze at that. We kind of looked at the premium shop again, including what benefits you get from a premium subscription. I think the chance at getting platinum keys to open chests is probably a big one. Along with the XP bo boost. And, well, we barely scratched getting more levels there, which is kind of too bad. So, I will be, well, continuing to work on that. And next time, I believe we'll probably be back on the Polish server if Solaire is available. Otherwise, we'll be on the English Druid. Either way, it's going to be a Druid. And until then, bye for now.